targeting the popular social media app TikTok is making waves in the United States before the House of Representatives introduces its bill to ban TikTok. Executives at the social media company were convinced that calls for a ban on the app had died down because of President Joe Biden. The Biden campaign's decision to join TikTok in late February and post dozens of videos helped reassure executives at TikTok, but not for long. Behind the scenes, lawmakers and Biden officials were working on a bill that could ban one of the world's most popular apps in the United States, which boasts more than 170 million users. The process was reportedly kept under wraps, catching TikTok's lobbying and government relation team off guard. A TikTok spokeswoman acknowledged the secrecy, stating that it was the only way the bill could gain momentum. She said, quote, the process was intentionally conducted in secret because bill authors knew it was the only way they could move it forward. If passed, the bill would force Chinese company ByteDance to sell TikTok to non-Chinese owners or face a ban in the United States. Biden has publicly indicated he would sign the ban should it hit his desk. U.S. critics of TikTok have long expressed concern that its Chinese-controlled parent ByteDance would share data about American users with the Chinese government or pressure TikTok to promote Beijing's views. Meanwhile, TikTok CEO Xu Chu intends to meet with lawmakers this week in Washington to lobby against the ban. Interestingly, TikTok has also been under scanner in the UK over allegations that data from it could be used by the Chinese government. TikTok, the American Civil Liberties Union, and other free speech groups have argued that the ban would violate the First Amendment rights to freedom of speech. But as the U.S. prepares to vote on the bill today, its fate could spark similar debates in the U.K., where concerns over data security and the app's media influence seems to be growing. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.